Um, this is Mitch McConnell. After the Senate GOP lunch, uh, they, that perhaps is why there was a delay getting started, in that there's a change from two days, 24 hours over two days, to 24 hours over three session days, and also that they can challenge the evidence as you go along, changes that were made just before we started today, important in how this trial gets underway. Yeah, we, we had heard about uh, at least a couple of sessions, perhaps, that were 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the morning, um, and we're, you know, kind of poking around to figure out why this change was made. Uh, we want to bring in Chris Wallace to get your thoughts on, on the beginning of this process, Chris, as we watch uh, the beginning arguments laid out here today. Well, I, I do think it's not that big a deal, two days to three days, and what's going to happen is they originally, in the in McConnell motion, said that all the evidence developed in the House impeachment effort was not going to automatically be admitted. Now it is going to be admitted, and, and then it can be challenged. Why did they make this change at the very last minute? Because clearly there were four Republican senators, at least four, who were concerned about it, who said, why do we have to rush? Why do we have to do this until one in the morning? It makes us look bad. Why are we saying that all the evidence that, that they have uh, accumulated in the House is not admissible right at the start? So I think it's fair to assume that the only reason that Mitch McConnell backed down, and he did back down, which is very rare for him, is because at least in this early procedural motion, there were at least four senators, four Republican senators, who said, let's let's soften this a little bit. It doesn't mean that uh, they're not going to pass this eventual motion. I think they will. It doesn't say anything about witnesses in the end, but it does indicate that the whole question of witnesses is more up for grabs than many of us thought, because it would seem to indicate that there are some moderate senators. We can guess who it was in the luncheon, people like Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, Mitt Romney, maybe Lamar Alexander, a couple of others are expressing some concerns. And just remember, Mitch McConnell is the majority leader, but if he doesn't have a majority, if the Democrats stand firm with 47 and then get four Republicans to jump over on a much more consequential issue like calling witnesses, if, then it's Chuck Schumer who is really the majority leader. Yeah, Katie Pavlich, uh, in the Senate, it comes down to votes. Mm -hmm. And to Chris's point, uh, as you look live at Senator Schumer talking to re reporters there in the hallway outside the Senate chamber, you're talking about votes of Republicans. And in his speech, he point pointedly said to you GOP senators um, a specific message to them, if you vote against these amendments, these things that we're going to put forward, it will make it harder later to vote for witnesses and other things if you move forward. But it seems like that process is going to move forward and the opening statements will happen just as McConnell wishes. Yeah, and the original resolution also, it does not deny.